and welcome to uh, today's video uh, in which I'm going to uh, talk a bit about depression and uh, dealing with uh, suicidal thoughts. Because emptiness and solitude can be uh, a blessing in disguise, but uh, of course it also comes with uh, a lot of pressure and responsibility, not just towards others who may or may not be around you, but also towards yourself. Because even if you're in social situations, that doesn't shield you from depression and uh, feelings of doubt and hopelessness, and weakness, many other things. And what I've been doing the past 20 years now that uh, works for me if I'm unable to uh, function which means maintaining creativity or social interaction which are quite fundamental to surviving this world or uh, the implementation of uh, rituals or practice you can call it many different things this ritual of meditation which can be many different things and to many extents they are connected especially if you implement them into a practice that sustains you uh, physically like as a part of an exercise or spiritually or mentally and how these are connected are of course pretty obvious but because it's obvious, it's easy to forget about it. So we need to remind ourselves. And that's what makes it a practice. It's something that you need to keep doing. It's not enough to hear it or read it once. So just like walking, you take it a step up at a time and for me my meditations that are without movement and those that involve walking on empty roads or paths through the forest such After a while, when you find your pace through your lower half or your breath through the rest of yourself, it lends itself to an enhanced 
focus where you can uh, separate the beneficial destructive aspects of your trains of thought and those that are simply beneficial and positive and in this context uh, I don't really like using words as positive or negative because each of those two things are exactly what you make them so to any one of you it can be either it's, it's not fixed it's liquid fluid and objective but in times like this uh, and there is involuntary panic attacks and uh, crippling anxiety what works for me is if I'm not able to be outside is to lay down with eyes closed and find a way to breathe because just breathing is hard sometimes but when you uh, accomplish such a minor goal you can start adding other goals to your thought process or your phys physical self and introduce other paths for your mind to explore and try your best to not stray away from that path but stay on it as long as you can persist And generally, after an hour or two, or more if you're patient enough, you uh, should be able to uh, have uh, found what you need to do for the day. or at least where to start it or end it and on to that subject ending things is what I frequently search through my journey of life and meditation and various aspects of creativity my obsession with suicide rarely leaves me it's a part of me But it's not the answer and it's not the path
it's literally a means to an end and with that I mean it's the last page or path of this walk or story that I'm creating but to me it's important to reflect upon it and I do it daily because to me considering suicide is self-empowerment because it shouldn't be taking the easy way out it should be the hardest decision to make so that's what I'm turning it into and every time that I'm walking to this area of my living room to record one of these videos I'm uh, walking by a news that I got from a friend and it's a little story that I'm going to share another time but you can see it I from my roof the window and when the blinders are not there it's, it's um, my view out to the forest behind my house which is a good location for practicing guitar for example that's how I composed the majority of the first Alta Italiana album and of course it's a subject that I could dive a lot deeper into but I think that uh, for the moment it's better to keep it shorter because I find myself needing to contemplate and think about it each time that I do to uh, add a sense of depth and direction but as always uh, if you have questions about it I'm more than happy to make another video where I'm answering your thoughts and questions about the subjects that I've discussed in this video and with that I thank you for watching and listening and uh, look forward to see you next time take care